Welcome to uh, Mashta in Sweden. And uh, this is where it all started. This is, the, this is the house you grew up in. Yes. Well, it's kind of you to, and your parents to allow us to come in and take mm -hmm. a tour. And uh, here it is. Oh, so, um, this is a nice room to keep it like this. Yeah, so it's like, it stayed the same when I moved out and then they just kept building yeah. off of it. Like you can see. Was this your first hockey card? Yeah. There you go. 12 years old, I think. Yeah, it says in the back there. 155 centimeters, 43 kg. Yeah. So you would have to translate that for yourselves. I, know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Yeah. That is, that's uh, world championship, yeah. the gold helmet. Yeah. That is, well, actually, that might one be, and that, this is world, or world juniors. World juniors. Yeah. And that's... So I have two of them, yeah. yeah those are awesome. Anytime a team wins in the league too, in the Swedish league, is it? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, get yeah. the gold helmets. AIK. Yeah, favorite soccer favorite. team. So it's hung up there for a long, long time now. Yeah, I kept the first warm up puck from the first game ever and the home. Yeah, so I snagged that for myself and the home one, yeah. And the first home opener. And up there is the world championship. And then the, all the jerseys from the World Juniors and World Championship. And two World Juniors and one under 18, too, actually. Mm -hmm. And this is the World Championship. It says the 71 on. 71. Yeah, the, the other, other ones, ones were 17. 17, yeah. And that's why a little switch to 71. Yeah, that's what I got in juniors. And I stayed with it. Maybe your favorite memories outside of sport growing up. Well, I remember in the summers we, we biked a lot. We have this uh, spot, uh, like a little cliff, that we used to hang out and, and uh, you know, jump from the cliffs and, and swim a little. I was going to say, hopefully there's water underneath. Yes, the yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, yeah, the, the place is called uh, the Skull Mountain. Skull Mountain. Yeah, because it kind of looks like a skull when you're on the water, like yeah. on a boat, apparently, yeah. I don't really see it, but that's what it's called. So I, get, I have a lot of great memories from that. And um, it, was, um, it was hockey all the time, pretty much. Or actually, it was soccer too, because I played soccer in the summers. But um, I think we had a very fun team, Team 93, as we call ourselves. So yeah, just have a lot of great memories growing up and playing for my uh, hometown team there. Did you say 93? So that was uh, that birth year? That was our birth year. So we that was were... my grad year. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, well, I'm just going to age myself while we're here. Uh, but for me, you know, when I was growing up, I grew up in a small town as well in, in Canada. But one of the benefits I found growing up was you always had ice time available. Mm -hmm. Was that uh, similar for you guys? More or less, yeah. Especially when, um, when it was cold out and we could have the, the outdoor rink going. Yeah, some of the best memories are, the, are those outdoor rinks. Which mm -hmm. Obviously, you would have had certain players you looked up, Swedish players. Uh, who was who number one? Who, who was uh, William Carlson when he was young? Who'd you pretend to be? Number one, what I would say is Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. Yeah. Even though I don't play like him, I feel like, but uh, I think he had every tool um, that a hockey player should have. Because he, he was scoring goals, he was making fantastic passes, but he was also crushing guys. And it's always a lot of fun to, to stay up at night and, um, and watch him. He was a beast, fortunate to play against well not fortunate, but I did play against him, it was scary at times as you mentioned. He was an absolute yeah. beast in the corners and uh, just unfortunate for the injuries for him yeah. because I think he was just tremendous and all around. Maybe outside hockey, who are uh, your biggest influences maybe on your path here growing up in Sweden? Well, of course my parents, yeah. yeah. Um, they've, dr they've driven me everywhere around here in Stockholm yeah. whenever we played other teams and they always been a huge um, support, uh, not only in hockey but in soccer too. It's a busy summer and, uh, and winter, so. Wild Bill's uh, your nickname, where did that come from? So, well, it started in Anaheim when I first got to uh, to North America because I was very shy and didn't say much in the beginning there. Um, sarcastically, he called me Wild Bill. That's pretty simple. So no, yeah. no, uh, no cowboy background at all or riding horses, living in the Wild West? <laughs> well, looking back at photos, clearly I do. Uh, but no, I just sarcastically he called me Wild Bill and he kind of stuck on the other guys. Was there a coach along the way that uh, helped you? The coach we had in uh, 
Team 93. 93. <laughs> team 93. Yeah, yeah. Team 93. Uh, we, we had him all the way until we name? started high school. Uh, Tommy uh, Bailen. I mean, he, he played me a lot, and so I don't have a lot to complain about. And uh, when I went to juniors, um, those coaches were good too, because they all believed in me and, and, and gave me the chance. There's, there's been a lot of good coaches throughout my career, and um, they've definitely been a part of uh, my journey to where I am today. The next pick in the 2017 NHL expansion draft will come from Columbus. Bill, your selection from the Blue Jackets. From the Blue Jackets, the Vegas Golden Knights select William Carlson. Looking back at it now, it was just so crazy. Um, I felt like um, this is my last chance to try to be this offensive guy that I've always wanted to be. It was like now or never. They put me with Marsh and Smith and everything just seemed so easy all of a sudden. And hockey was so much fun and in every game I had the mindset of, oh, I'm gonna score, I feel really good. I know you had 43 goals the first year, but let's talk about the goal. Against San Jose, clinched the division, shorthanded, between the legs, stripped the puck, blew past Brent Burns. What were you thinking as you went in on goal? You know, I have a pretty good angle to, uh, to pull this move. I planned it pretty early when I, when I skated down there, and then the execution was there, and looked even better when you try to poke with the stick and uh, just left the short side open for me. What a goal! Through his own legs! Are you kidding me? William Carlson pulls this move off at full speed. Pretty big summer for you. Eight years yeah. locked in uh, as a Vegas Golden Knight, something I know you wanted to do. For sure. Is there a little relief or do you, you still put that pressure on yourself? Um, I think both. I mean, I, I always want to be good. I, um, I mean, if you're not good, you're not going to play. So, and um, Vegas is where I want to play. There's no other place I'd rather be. So, um, I say both. It's nice to get it done, but also uh, I think I put um, pressure on myself too to uh, to be good and uh, try to be a, a leader in the team. Every journey has a story. Every story has a beginning.